Your morning news now. President Donald Trump is back in Washington after spending 10 days at his New Jersey golf club. Before leaving, he pushed back on the risks of a recession facing the U.S. economy, saying the 2017 tax cuts have made consumers rich. Democrats say the president's policies are not working and continuing the trade war with China is not the way forward. Well, watch out for a little bit of patchy fog, mainly in some of the valley locations this morning. Visibility here in uh, downtown La Crosse, not a big concern, but visibility below a mile in Black River Falls, Sparta, Boscobel. Also some fog around Camp Douglas as well, so use some caution in those areas this morning. Tips from the public about threatening texts and social media posts led to several arrests across the country over the weekend. Suspects in Ohio, Connecticut, and Florida are all accused of expressing desires to carry out mass shootings. In Milwaukee, a 12-year-old girl is recovering after getting shot while sitting in her bedroom early yesterday morning. Police are still looking for the person who fired a gun from outside the home. At least one of those bullets went through the wall and hit the girl inside. Her injuries are not life-threatening. Happening today, security lines could be longer for many air passengers at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. Ongoing remodeling means one of the main terminal's two security checkpoints will now only be open to people who have qualified for TSA pre-check or clear pre-check. Everyone else will need to use the other checkpoint. Screening at MSP's smaller terminal will not be affected. Two Mississippi River boat landings are closed this morning because of flood damage. While crews do repair work, the landing near Fountain City off of Highway 54 and the McNally Landing in Winona are closed. Repairs should be done by tomorrow. In La Crosse, the swimming season is being extended. City pools were scheduled to close yesterday, but Veterans Memorial Pool will be open through August 29th. The newly renovated pool was just reopened recently. There will be a grand opening celebration a week from tomorrow. And talk about a surprise. A South Dakota woman named Danette went to the hospital with what she thought was a kidney stone problem. But doctors told her she was actually pregnant with triplets and they were going to be born soon. All the babies are doing well, so is Danette, but she admits she's still in shock that she didn't know she was pregnant despite having two other children and pregnant with triplets again. We're, we're kind of in shock as well. Oh. Uh, temperature is very comfortable this morning, primarily in the 50s, 53 in Eau Claire, 59 in La Crosse, even some upper 40s in Black River Falls and uh, Camp Douglas. Patchy Valley fog through 9 a.m., otherwise lots of sunshine and a nice day, seasonably warm with low humidity, a high of 84. Hey, thanks for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.